Hello, friend. Today you are going to hear scriptures on the subject of simple prayer. This recording has been designed so that you can meditate on the Word of God, build your faith, and therefore experience a more fulfilling prayer life. Prayer opens up the door for God to work. If you don't pray, then God can't work. At times, He does do things sovereignly, but the normal way for God to move on your behalf or on the behalf of a city or a nation, is through your prayers. You see, my friend, man is God's avenue into the earth. We are co-laborers with him. He works in partnership with us. He has a part and you have a part. Your part is to pray. His part is to bring the answers to your prayers. Listen to these verses as often as you are able at home, at night before you go to sleep, or in the car. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. So it is important for you to remember that listening to these scriptures once or twice isn't enough. Listen to them as often as you are able, and this will allow these verses to penetrate your heart, and you will begin to experience more confidence in your prayer life. Let's begin with the cry of our heart. I yearn for you. Psalm 63, 1-8 You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life, my lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the riches of foods. With singing lips my mouth will praise you. On my bed I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. Because you are my help, I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you, your right hand upholds me. Psalms 84 How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord Almighty! My soul yearns, even faints, for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself, where she may have her young, a place near your altar. Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, whose hearts are set on pilgrimage. As they pass through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rains also cover it with pools. They go forth from strength to strength, till each appears before God in Zion. Hear my prayer, Lord God Almighty. Listen to me, God of Jacob. Look on your shield, O God. Look with favor on your anointed one. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. The Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose walk is blameless. Lord God Almighty, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Lord, teach us to pray. Luke 11, 1. Now it came to pass, as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. Isaiah 56, 7 Even them will I bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted upon my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. 1 Corinthians 14, 14 and 15. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit prays, but my understanding is unfruitful. What is the conclusion then? 
I will pray with the Spirit, and I will also pray with the understanding. I will sing with the Spirit, and I will also sing with the understanding. 1 Timothy 2, 1-4 Therefore I exhort, first of all, that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who desires that all men be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Confidence in Prayer Psalms 103, verse 12 through 14. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. 2 Corinthians 5.21 For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. John 6 37. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. Romans 8 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. Hebrews 4.16 Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Ephesians 3.12 in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him. James 5.16 Confess your trespasses one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. 1 John 5.14-15 Now this is the confidence we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Asking in Prayer, Matthew 6, 8. For your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. James 4, 2, B. You do not have because you do not ask. John 16, 23 through 24. And in that day, you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Psalms 2, 8. Ask of me and I will give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. Matthew 7, 7 through 8. Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For every one who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. Matthew seven eleven. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father, who is in heaven, give good gifts to those who ask him? Matthew eighteen nineteen. Again I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything they shall ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. Luke eleven eleven. If a son asks for bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent instead of a fish? Luke eleven thirteen. If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, 
How much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? John 15, 7 If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. John 15, 16 You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain, that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it you. John 16, 23 And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give it you. James 1, 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. John 14, 13 through 14. And whatever you ask in my name, that I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Matthew 7, 8. For everyone who asks receives, he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. 1 John 3, 22. And whatever we ask, we receive from him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Ephesians 3, 20. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Prayer in Faith Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask, when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. James 1, 6 through 8. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for he who doubts is like the wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose he will receive anything from the Lord. He is double-minded, unstable in all of his ways. Hebrews 11.1 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. James 5, 14 through 15. Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick and the Lord will raise him up. God hears you when you pray. Exodus 2, 23 through 25. Now it happened in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage, and they cried out, and their cry came up to God because of the bondage. So God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God acknowledged them. Numbers 20:16. When we cried out to the Lord, he heard our voice and sent the angel and brought us up out of Egypt. Deuteronomy 26, 6 through 9. But the Egyptians mistreated us, afflicted us, and laid hard bondage on us. Then we cried out to the Lord God of our fathers, and the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction, our labor, and on our oppression. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm, with great terror, with signs and wonders. He has even brought us to this place and has given us this land, a land that flows with milk and honey. 1 Samuel 7, 9 And Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Then Samuel cried out to the Lord for Israel, and the Lord answered him. 1 Kings 9, 1-3 And it came to pass, when Solomon had finished building the house of the Lord and the king's house, and all Solomon's desire which he wanted to do, that the Lord appeared to Solomon the second time. 
as he appeared to him at Gideon. And the Lord said to him, I have heard your prayer and your supplication that you have made before me. I have consecrated this house which you have built to put my name there forever. And my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. Psalm 66, 19 through 20. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear. But certainly God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Psalms 116, 1 through 6. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call upon him as long as I live. I found trouble and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I implore you, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. I was brought low and he saved me. Proverbs 15, 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. Second Chronicles 17, 12 through 15. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer and I have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain, or command the locust to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer made in this place. Daniel 10, 12 through 13. Then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, and behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. John eleven forty one. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying, and Jesus lifted up his eyes, and he said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Acts ten thirty one. Cornelius... Your prayer has been heard, and your alms are remembered in the sight of God. Hebrews 11.1 1, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. James 5.14-15 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. God hears you when you pray. Exodus 2:23 through 25 Now it happened in the process of time that the king of Egypt died. Then the children of Israel groaned because of the bondage, and they cried out, and their cry came up to God because of the bondage. So God heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. And God looked upon the children of Israel, and God acknowledged them. Numbers twenty sixteen. When we cried out to the Lord, he heard our voice and sent the angel and brought us up out of Egypt. Deuteronomy 26, 6 through 9. But the Egyptians mistreated us, afflicted us, and laid hard bondage on us. Then we cried out to the Lord God of our fathers, and the Lord heard our voice and looked on our affliction, our labor, and on our oppression. So the Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and with an outstretched arm, with great terror, with signs and wonders. 
He has even brought us to this place and has given us this land, a land that flows with milk and honey. 1 Samuel 7, 9 And Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it as a whole burnt offering to the Lord. Then Samuel cried out to the Lord for Israel, and the Lord answered him. 1 Kings 9, 1-3 And it came to pass, when Solomon had finished building the house of the Lord and the king's house, and all Solomon's desire which he wanted to do, that the Lord appeared to Solomon the second time, as he appeared to him at Gideon. And the Lord said to him, I have heard your prayer and your supplication that you have made before me. I have consecrated this house which you have built to put my name there forever, and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. Psalm 66, 19 through 20. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear, but certainly God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Psalms 116, 1 through 6. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplication, because he has inclined his ear to me. Therefore, I will call upon him as long as I live. I found trouble and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I implore you, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Yes, our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. I was brought low, and he saved me. Proverbs 15, 29. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. 2 Chronicles 17, 12 through 15. Then the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer, and I have chosen this place for myself as a house of sacrifice. When I shut up heaven and there is no rain, or command the locust to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people, if my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Now my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to the prayer made in this place. Daniel 10, 12 through 13. Then he said to me, do not fear Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and to humble yourself before your God, your words were heard and I have come because of your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days, and behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. John eleven forty one. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying, and Jesus lifted up his eyes, and he said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Acts 10, 31. Cornelius, your prayer has been heard, and your alms are remembered in the sight of God. 1 John 5, 14. Now this is the confidence we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know he hears us, whatever we ask, we know we have the petitions we asked of him. He answers you. Jeremiah 33, 3. Call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Psalms 91, 14 through 16. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him for he acknowledges my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Isaiah 41, 17. The poor and needy search for water, but there is none. Their tongues are parched with thirst. 
But I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. The Holy Spirit and Prayer 1 Corinthians 14.2 For he who speaks in a tongue does not speak to men but to God, for no one understands him. However, in the Spirit he speaks mysteries. Amplified Version For one who speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not to men but to God, for no one understands or catches his meaning, because in the Holy Spirit he utters secret truths and hidden things not obvious to the understanding. 1 Corinthians 14:14 14, 14 through 15 For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit prays, but my mind is unfruitful. So what shall I do? I will pray with my spirit, but I will also pray with my understanding. I will sing with my spirit, but I will also sing with my understanding. New Living Translation, verse 14. For if I pray in a tongue, my spirit is praying, but I don't understand what I am saying. Amplified. For if I pray in an unknown tongue, my spirit, by the Holy Spirit within me, praise, but my mind is unproductive. Romans 8, 26 through 28. Likewise, the Spirit also helps in our weaknesses, for we do not know what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Now he who searches the hearts knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because he makes intercession for the saints according to the will of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. Prayer in the Time of Trouble Psalm 6, 8-9 through Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. Psalms 40, 1 through 3. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and he established my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it and fear and will trust in the Lord. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. Psalms 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalms 34, 4. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. Psalm 69, 33. For the Lord hears the poor, and does not despise his prisoners. Psalms 107, verse 13. And they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. Psalms 107, 17 through 20. Fools, because of their transgression and because of their iniquities, were afflicted. Their soul abhorred all manner of food, and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Isaiah 38, 1-6 In those days Hezekiah was sick near death, and Isaiah the prophet went to him and said, Thus says the Lord, Set your house in order, for you shall die and not live. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall, and he prayed to the Lord, and he said, Remember now, O Lord, I pray how I walked before you in truth and with a loyal heart, and have done what is good in your sight. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. And the word of the Lord came to Isaiah, saying, Go and tell Hezekiah, Thus says the Lord, the God of David your father, 
I have heard your prayer. I have seen your tears. Surely I will add to your days 15 years. I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria, and I will defend this city. Jonah 2, 1 through 10. Then Jonah prayed to the Lord his God from the fish's belly, and he said, I cried out to the Lord because of my affliction, and he answered me, and you heard my voice, for you cast me into the deep, into the heart of the seas, and the floods surrounded me. All your billows and all your waves passed over me. Then I said, I have been cast out of your sight, yet I will look again toward your holy temple. The waters surrounded me, even to my soul. The deep closed around me. Weeds were wrapped around my head. I went down to the moorings of the mountains. The earth with its bars closed behind me forever. Yet you have brought up my life from the pit. O Lord my God, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord and my prayer went up to you into your holy temple. Those who regard worthless idols forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice to you with a voice of thanksgiving. I will pay what I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. So the Lord spoke to the fish, and it vomited Jonah onto dry land. Revival Prayer 2 Chronicles 7, 13-14 when I shut up the heaven and there is no rain, or command the locusts to devour the land, or send pestilence among my people, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and heal their land. Isaiah 44.3 for I will pour water on him that is thirsty and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendants and my blessings upon your offspring. Zechariah 10.1 Ask the Lord for rain in the time of the latter rain. The Lord will make flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain, grass in the field for everyone. Jeremiah 33, 3. Call to me, and I will answer you, and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Prayers of the Saints, Precious. Revelations 5, 6 through 8. And I looked, and behold, in the midst of the throne, and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb as though it had been slain having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent out into all the earth. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat on the throne. Now when he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the 24 elders fell down before the lamb, each having a harp and a golden bowl full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. Prayer ascends before God as incense. Revelations 8, 3 through 4. Then another angel, having a golden censer, came and stood at the altar. He was given much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne and the smoke of the incense with the prayers of the saints ascended before God from the angel's hand. Examples of answered prayer. Moses, Exodus 15, 24 through 25. And the people complained against Moses saying, what shall we drink? So he cried out to the Lord and the Lord showed him a tree and when he cast it into the waters, the waters were made sweet. Gideon, Judges 6, 39-40 Then Gideon said to God, Do not be angry with me, but let me speak just once more. 
Let me test, I pray, just one more with the fleece. Let it now be dry only on the fleece, but on all the ground let there be dew. And God did so that night. It was dry on the fleece only, but there was dew on all the ground. Hannah, 1 Samuel 1.27 For this child I prayed, and the Lord has granted me my petition which I asked of him. Samuel, 1 Samuel 7, 9 through 10. And Samuel took a suckling lamb and offered it as a whole burnt offering before the Lord. Then Samuel cried out to the Lord for Israel, and the Lord answered him. Now as Samuel was offering up the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a loud thunder upon the Philistines that day, and so confused them that they were overcome before Israel. Solomon, 1 Kings 9.3 And the Lord said to him, I have heard your prayer and your supplication you have made before me. I have consecrated this house, which you have built to put my name there forever, and my eyes and my heart will be there perpetually. Elijah, 1 Kings 18.37-38 through Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that you are the Lord God and that you have turned their hearts back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell and consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stones and the dust and it licked up the water that was in the trench. Jehoshaphat, 2 Chronicles 18.31 so it was, when the captains of the chariot saw Jehoshaphat, that they said, It is the king of Israel. Therefore they surrounded him to attack. But Jehoshaphat cried out, and the Lord helped him, and God diverted them from him. Hezekiah 2 Chronicles 30.20 And the Lord listened to Hezekiah, and he healed the people. Ezra Ezra 8:23 So we fasted and entreated our God for this and he answered our prayer. Zacharias Luke 1:13 But the angel said unto him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer is heard, and your wife Elizabeth, she will bear you a son, and you will call his name John. Habakkuk Habakkuk 2, 1 through 2. I will stand on my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer him when I am corrected. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on the tablets that he may run who reads it. The Early Church and Prayer, Acts 4, 31. And when they had prayed, the place where they were assembled together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they spoke the word of God with boldness. Rewards in Prayer Hebrews 11.6 But without faith it is impossible to please Him, for he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Matthew 6.6 6, But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Job 42.10 And the Lord restored Job's losses when he prayed for his friends. Indeed, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had before. Psalm 1611 You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. In conclusion, Ephesians 6, 10-18 Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, 
against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all saints.